lovely people my name is Nicole and I'm in the new dorm room yay it's so exciting I have like my own like, room and my own space this time I feel a little bit awkward just because uh, my sweet mates and I haven't had a chance to just like sit down and like, and like really introduce ourselves and talk about sort of like who we are what we do like what we're majoring in sort of like what our expectations are for living together that kind of thing um, so I haven't done the whole like Hey, sometimes I'll just turn around on camera and start talking to myself. Don't worry, I promise I'm not crazy, at least in that context kind of thing yet. So, I don't know how many of them are home right now, but um, the walls are very thin, so they can probably hear me, and that's. I'm talking a little quieter than normal. That's why, it's because I'm super self conscious, because I don't know these people yet. Anyway, it is the end of the month, and so it's time for another book haul. I realized as I was like getting books together to do this book haul, uh, I'm missing a couple of them because I just like didn't bring them with me. Uh, so we're just not gonna do this. It's kind of weird to haul books that I don't actually have, so we're just not gonna do those for now. Stick with the books that I actually do have. Um, at some point later I can do a whole like room tour, it's a small room, but maybe later I can do a suite tour, I don't know, we haven't really done anything to like the common areas yet, so it's not that interesting. Also I want to like talk to the roommates, see if they're okay with that first, obviously. Um, but I can do like a room tour and like talk about what books I brought to college I, this year, if we want to do that later, we can. But let's just get into the book haul right now. Alright, so first I have a few books from Penguin Teen. These are ARCs, um, which thank you Penguin Teen for sending me these ARCs. The first one actually got last month um, as a part of the Barnes & Noble Bee Fest thing that they were having. And so basically what happened was uh, there was a trivia component and the prize for trivia was a year-long subscription to the Penguin Teen ARC list. So for the next year I'm going to be getting Penguin Teen Arcs, so that's really fun, I'm really excited. And on that, sort of on the day in like the swag bag or whatever they sent home with me was Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. This comes out in September and I'm so excited to read it. I read his previous book, Mosquito Land, and it's the kind of book where I liked the writing style and I liked like the ideas behind it. It's just some of the execution I had issues with, so I'm definitely really excited to read some of his other writing and see what he does with this story. You know what, I'm just gonna keep going even with- I'm sorry there's noise in the background. The roommates are talking and, and all that stuff. Anyway, um, this is about two teenagers who uh, it seems like they're sort of telling their story to the police is what I'm getting from the description. It was It's one of those weird sort of cryptic descriptions. It seems like one of the characters' father died and then a little bit later one of the characters' uncles died and they're sort of telling the police how everything happened and what happened in between these two deaths and it seems like it's going to be one of those sort of weird wacky quirky adventure kind of things like i said this comes out in september so pretty soon and then another thing that was in the stock bag was a sort of like list of like three arcs it's like choose which one you want to receive and i saw this one and i knew immediately i had to have it and that is what light by jay asher I love Jay Asher. 13 Reasons Why is one of my all-time favorite books. It's one of those books like I grew up on. I say grew up. I read it I read it probably too early. I read it when I was like 12. It's one of those books that has really just kind of stayed with me and it's been really really important to me and so I'm so excited to read What Light. This comes out in October and it's about a girl who lives in Oregon and her family owns a Christmas tree farm. So once a year around Christmas time her family packs everything up and goes down to California to sell their Christmas trees. So she feels like she lives living kind of a double life. Her life in Oregon and then her life at Christmas. But one Christmas she meets a cute boy. Ooh, wonder what will happen next. It sounds adorable and romantic and it may be only like August almost September but uh, I'm a sucker for holiday romances so I'm very very excited to read this then I got it ends with us by Colleen Hoover and I mean it's a new Colleen Hoover book how could I not get it sounds like this one is about a small town girl who moves to the big city and starts her own business and meets a stern and grumpy but absolutely gorgeous neurosurgeon and he seems to have a soft spot for her but like he doesn't do relationships and so they have to sort of work through that but obviously they're going to fall in love but then 
a ghost from her past comes back. I'm excited. I love Colleen Hoover so much. It sounds like it's going to be amazing and just cheesy in all the right ways and knowing Colleen Hoover it's probably going to rip my heart into a billion tiny pieces and I am so excited. Then I got Lumberjanes volume 4 and I love this comic series. It's so much fun. Great like just teenage preteen girls being awesome and hilarious. I am such a huge fan of it. If you don't know what this series is about, it's about a group of friends who go to this summer camp and some strange things seem to happen and they're freak those strange things are freaking out everyone around them but they're just like cool let's just roll with it and have some fun and figure out this mist, solve this mystery like badasses and it's amazing and I highly recommend it. Then I got A World Without You by Beth Revis and this is about a boy who believes that he can travel in time. His parents get increasingly worried about him because of this and eventually send him to this school for sort of troubled kids that he assumes is a school for kids with superpowers obviously, where he meets a girl who is in, who can turn herself invisible. They get really close, she tells him about her past with her mother and her sister dying, um, but one day she commits suicide and he has to sort of struggle with processing her death and whether or not he believes that she's really dead or not. And it's supposed to be this incredible story about like love and mental illness and loss and I'm sure I'm going to just cry my entire way through it. I've heard so many amazing things about Beth Revis's writing that I'm so excited to pick this one up. Then I got Enter Title Here by Raul uh, Kanakia. I'm sorry I totally butchered that name but uh, this is about a girl who is a straight-laced, straight-A valedictorian honor student and she's trying to submit her application to some of the top colleges in the country but she needs a little something extra, something to make her interesting to stand out. So she decides she's going to write a book but her problem is she doesn't have any material. She feels like she's just been a good, perfect good girl all her life and doesn't have any life experiences to write about so she's going to start doing some of the crazy teenager things that make brilliant plots. But then there's the question of will she take it too far? I honestly didn't really know anything about this when I picked it up. I hadn't heard anyone talk about it on booktube. I saw it in Barnes & Noble and it looked really interesting so I picked it up. Hopefully it's going to be fun and kind of adventurous finding yourself journey. I'm excited. Then I got a book that I have been waiting for for so long. I'm so happy I have it now. That's P.S. I Like You by Casey West. I love Casey West books. Yes, I've already read this. I read it like the night I got it. It's amazing. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. But Casey West books are adorable and hilarious and so so cute romances and this is about a girl who's always doodling in her notebook during class specifically chemistry class and one day her chemistry teacher bans her notebook from class saying that she has to actually pay attention so she of course starts doodling on the desk and she writes the lyrics to one of her favorite songs and she comes back the next day to find that the lyrics have been continued. Which wouldn't be a big deal except for the fact that this is one of her all-time favorite bands and it's not very well known. So clearly whoever continued the lyrics must be her soulmate. They start exchanging notes back and forth and eventually they start to fall for each other. And it's so cute! everything I could have wanted. Like I said, I'll talk about it more in my wrap up, but if you are looking for an adorable contemporary romance, pick up all of Casey West's books. They're amazing. Then um, I went on a bit of a comic book buying spree. So the first one I got is New Avengers Volume 2 Standoff, and this follows... I actually have no idea what the plot of this one is. All I know is that it's New Avengers, and I really like the first uh, volume of this sort of series of New Avengers. I don't know what the technical term this run, I don't know, I don't know what the technical term for this is, but um, I mean it has some of my faves, it has Squirrel Girl, and y'all know I love me some Squirrel Girl. Uh, and then I'm also really excited to see more of Hulkling and Wiccan's relationship because I got a little bit of it in the first Young Avengers volume that I read and then also in the first uh, New Avengers volume and I'm so excited to see more because they're kind of adorable. Then I got Deadpool Classic volume 3 and this is just the third set of sort of classic Deadpool comics that everyone should read in order to fully understand the history of Deadpool. I'm sort of slowly reading my way through these 
uh, they are a little bit more crazy um, than your average comic book just because they're so like big. But so far I'm really liking them. Deadpool is of course hilarious and just a wonderful gift of a character and it's really interesting to see sort of his evolution. So I'm really, really enjoying these and I'm really excited to pick up this one. Then my family and I went to the Amazon bookstore in Seattle um, and paid specific attention to the comics section because a previous professor of mine who's actually really good friends with my parents is the curator of comics at the brick and mortar Amazon bookstores. So we wanted to sort of visit and see her work and she just created a new end cap. So from that I grabbed No Straight Lines edited by Justin Hall. This is four decades of queer comics. So this basically just takes comics from the past 40 years and that focus on queer themes and it just compiles them in a beautiful, beautiful collection of queer comics. And I am so excited to read through this. I flipped through it a little bit, but I haven't really had a chance to like go through it in detail, but I'm so excited. Then I got a book that I've actually had my eye on for a little while now, and that is Understanding Comics, The Invisible Art by Scott McCloud. This is a book that one of my professors last semester actually used to sort of introduce uh, comics as a literary art form to the class. It talks a lot about sort of the history of comics and the like fundamentals of comics, the different pieces that go into comics, um, and it tells it all through comics, which is really really cool. I'm so excited to read through this, especially because I've been getting so much in more into comics in the past few months, so this should be really really interesting. And then the final book I got this month is An Infinite Number of Parallel Universes by Randy Rabay and TBH. Like, a huge part of the reason I picked this up was the title, because that is a bomb ass title. And this is about a group of four friends who bonded over Dungeons and Dragons in sixth grade and have stayed fast friends all throughout middle school and high school. But now they're in their senior year and they're all sort of facing their own personal trials and tribulations. But when one of them gets stumped, they all decide to go on a road trip to bring back, to get back the love of his life. And obviously then all their struggles sort of come to the surface and they all have to deal with that and like it's a test of their friendship and I'm sure it's going to be amazing because it's a story about awesome friendship and road trips and who doesn't love that. Alright so those are all the books I got this month. Let me know which one of these you think I should read first. Give me just all your thoughts in the comments below. I love you and I'll see you later. Bye!